Hello everyone, this is Broby One Kenobi, also known as Kyle, and I am back here on my Feed the Beast server, and um, this is the new house that I built uh, in the off-screen, off-camera time since the last episode. Um, spent pretty much all day, really. This thing has been so laggy, I can't walk through doors, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, this is the house I pretty much spent almost all day building. I set up here in a forest and I had to chop down so many trees to build this house. It was ridiculous. But yeah, this is the uh, house. And I think I see one thing I want to fix, actually. I want that block to go sideways. Pretty sure I want to do that. Um, do I have any wood on? Not much. I have a bunch of materials on me. You'll see why in a few minutes. Um, ah, I fell. This is just too laggy. Too laggy, man. Wow, it was fine all day, and then all of a sudden it got like really laggy. Anyway, um, so what I wanted to show you guys was the outside of the house. That's the front, basically. I think that looks better now. Um, pretty much just used birch for the roof, oak for the walls, spruce for the frame and the floors. Uh, that's about it. You know, glass panes and things. There's like a little lake over here. Yeah. And then, um, just like the back door. And I got two little doggies. Because I found them in this forest area that I was in. Um, and the last thing I'll show you guys about the house, basically, uh, is this little farm area that I built. Just kind of fenced it off to keep things from trampling. Um, you know, wheat farm there. Potatoes here, carrots there. Pretty simple, but effective. I have not had to really worry about food in pretty much ever. Alright, so we're going to go back inside. If it'll let me. Yep. And we'll go upstairs to the second floor attic area thing. This is like my bedroom loft area and this is storage. Um. Alright, I am back. Uh, sorry about that. My uh, dad came in the room. And wanted to tell me something because I parked my car not in our driveway because we were putting the boat in the water today. So I had to move my car to store the trailer and I don't know, you probably don't care. So you just want to see this episode. So anyway, what we have here is a bunch of materials, generator. Uh, don't really need the generator yet considering I don't have a macerator or any of the other IC2 stuff. Let's see, where do I want to put IC2 stuff? I think I'm going to put IC2 stuff in this corner area. So we'll just plop the generator down. Sweet. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can really make yet. Oh wait, I could probably make... Oh, I could make this. Tree taps, machine blocks. Okay, so let's co cook up some refined iron. Uh, oh, there's some regular iron in there. And there should be some regular iron here. So let's just split it 50-50. Okay, that should give us enough refined iron. Let's go get some redstone, because we know we will need that. Just grab a stack. Uh, grab whatever else I've got here. Ingot-wise. Um... Do I need anything else? I don't think so. I spent a bunch of time caving, too. Uh, I might need cobblestone for something. I don't know. I know I need glass, so... I need anything out of here. We should probably cook up some more rubber. Grab these copper cables. I definitely need wood. Wood. Where's wood? Wood is it here? Grab some wood. Alright, so, first thing for the extractor, we need that refined iron. 
Can't do anything without the refined iron. <clears throat> hey, refined iron gives you experience. That's cool. Um, I need more rubber. Dang it. It's hoping to get away without... Oops, I already took half. Go ahead and cook up this rubber. Because I'm going to need it for sure. Uh, I think I need 12 electric circuits. So I'm going to need to wait for six of this to cook up. So I apologize for. I thought I was ready for this, but I'm never ready for this stuff. <laughs> Feed the Beast just requires so much crafting. And, um,. Materials and preparation and whatnot, so. Alright, give me one more. There we go. Alright, let's go back upstairs, so in case we need to grab more materials. Alright, let's just dump a majority of this stuff in here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. That'd give me six more. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I think it's one, two, and one. Yes, it is. Let's make two of these. Because we'll need one eventually. Um, let's make a machine block, which is eight refined iron. It's refined iron machine block. We don't have the tree taps. And what stinks about these is they do not stack. So, tree tap. Oops. Tree tap, tree tap, tree tap, electronic circuit, and a machine block gives you an extractor. Fantastic. Um, I know macerator is really difficult to make because of Greg Tech. Yeah, I need three diamonds for flint and an advanced circuit, so that's not going to happen. There's a compressor, but I don't really need that right now. And what's the fourth one? The electric furnace. Electric furnace this is just an iron furnace, red uh, circuit, and redstone. So we can make that right now. Iron furnace is just, oops, I messed up the crafting recipe. Eight iron in a uh, circle like that. Iron furnace. Clear out the project table. To redstone, and an electric circuit gets you the electrical furnace. So let's go downstairs. Uh, I need that thing I just put away, which is going to break. Probably the first thing I break. No. Whoops, that was one too many, I think. So, extractor. Electric furnace. Sweet. So now we can throw, like, a stack of coal in there. Let's go grab a stack of coal. Wow, it's already nighttime. Imagine that. Stack of coal. And that should power up these machines. And let's go, and since I have a ton of this rubber wood over here somewhere. Yeah, if I extract this stuff, I get rubber. So I'm going to do that. I just stick it in there and leave it. Pretty sure I get. Let's see. If you smelt it, you get charcoal. If you sawmill it, you get sticky resin and jungle planks. Interesting. Yeah, there you go. If you put it through an extractor, you get rubber. So. Oh, wow, that is very slow. Well then, anywho, so that's the, uh, that. So that's some more rubber. Alright, so that's two of the things I wanted to make. And that's out of the way. Then I wanted to do some, um, what's that other mod pack called? Uh, I can't think of it. Um, 
God, thermal expansion. We're going to make a couple of thermal expansion machines. So one thing we need to make, I think I started this off wrong. For pretty much any thermal expansion machine, um, don't take my word for this 100%, but pretty much all of them use this machine frame. And it's made with four glass like that, four iron, and one gold. So I'm going to make two of these. I think I only need two. Clear the crafting recipe. Alright, so let's see. The first one I wanted to make was the sawmill, I believe. Let's see. Um. Whoa, that's not. Wow. That's not what I wanted to do. Um. I wanted to know what you could use the sawmill to make, but I forget. Um. The more important one I wanted to make actually was the pulver pulverizer, which is piston, machine frame, two copper, two flint, and a redstone reception coil. You see these redstone reception coils occur a lot in thermal expansion as well. So we'll make one of those. Uh, we need some flint, which I think is in here. Yes, it is. So flint uh, piston is the last thing I need, and that's three wood, uh, four cobblestone, one redstone, and one iron. This piston. So piston, two flint, two copper, a machine frame, and a redstone reception coil gets you the pulverizer. Uh, we need another piston though. Now that I think about it, I should just make like four or five of these. Let's make like, I can only make three. Oh my god, there's a zombie at my door. That scared me. Why are you at my door, Mr. Zombie? Lag. Thank you, puppies. Anywho, sorry for that disturbing dis disturption. Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? I can't think of it. I am drawing an English blank. Um, so anyway, let's go back to what we were doing. So, I need more wood. No, I have some wood here. This will do. So, four sticks like that, and I need to put four more in here make you wooden gears, so I need two of those. I need to convert these into stone gears. I should have left just wood. Uh, let's make some wooden ones anyway. And since I made the extra pistons. Um, so first thing we're going to make is the... I don't have any wood. That's not what we're making. We're not making the I don't have any wood. I just need wood. Uh, we'll just grab 16 more planks. That'll be fine. Pretty sure that's how you make it. Yep, the redstone engine. Pretty straightforward. And then I will need one of these to operate that. And that should power the pulverizer. Um. Do, 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 do. Let's stick the pulverizer right there. Let's stick the redstone engine right there. Let's turn the top part off. And these these things will just run forever. Uh, they do not output very much at all. Like you can see how slow it is. So they don't blow up. So I can just leave that running all the time anyway. Um. Eventually I'm going to get a better source of buildcraft power, but I need to... I want to start off using geothermal, I believe. How do you make a geothermal generator? Geoth... I need, still need a ton of stuff before I can get there, but... Empty cells, I already have a generator. I could actually probably make this right now. Um, but I'm not going to. Because um, I want to be able to make about, you know, maybe six or so before I even start. 
So what I want to do is get to the nether first. Uh, make a pump, which if we find it in here, a pump is this pump, I believe. Yes, it's a mining well and a tank. Uh, I believe we made this in last season, but um, iron ingots, iron pick, and an iron gear with redstone gives you a mining well. And then the mining well with the tank gives you a pump. Um, so what I want to do is go to the nether, set up a pump, and start pumping um, lava into an... Uh, I saw this in another Let's Play, so ender... There's ender tanks now. Um, basically you can transport liquids through different dimensions using these. So obviously, like I said, I need to go to the nether because I need to get blaze rods. Um, obsidian, a cauldron, wool, and an ender pearl. Uh, it's very similar to the ender chest, but obviously with liquids. So, the ender tank, use the ender tank to pump lava back here, uh, and have it pump into geothermal generators, which will create me, uh, industrial craft power. That's the short version. Um, anyway, I'm going to go back up here because I wanted to craft the sawmill as well. Um, and oh yeah I was going to do this too I'll just make this because I can One, two, three. so very similar to the redstone engine except with stone this is the sterling engine so three cobblestone glass two stone gears and a piston bam uh, let's make another redstone torch whoops and this one runs off of coal and that kind of stuff, so it's not as efficient. Well, I mean, it outputs more power than the redstone engine, but you obviously burn up coal, and that's not a good thing. And I think it can explode as well, which is not fun. It's never a fun time. Uh, so we need machine frame, redstone reception coil, which we can make really quick. I love project tables, by the way. Um, in an iron axe, wood, and copper. So an iron axe, we need to make a couple more sticks. Whoops, that is not an axe. I'm glad I did not craft that. Alright, so iron axe, machine frame, redstone reception coil, copper ingots, and what was it, wood planks? Yes, a sawmill. Fantastic. So that would be the other build craft machine I'm going to make for today. And that'll go right there, and we'll drop the engine there, and we'll go back upstairs and grab another stack of coal, which means I'm going to start need to making, going to need to start making more coal or getting more coal. So I've only got three and a half stacks left, only. But you you will burn through it very quickly if you uh, do not. So let's see. Yeah, look how much quicker this guy fills up. He's already up to 40. This guy's only at 51. So he outputs a lot more Minecraft jewels. Um, so yeah, sawmill. Um... Let's see. How's the extractor doing? 23. Uh, still have half a stack of coal left in the generator. See how quickly that burns through as well. Um, wood. I need logs. I believe. Actually, let's grab half a stack of these guys. Whoops. Because I know that you can sawmill them into jungle planks, which don't do much. So, yeah, this guy's not going to be able to keep up, I don't think. Or is he? And you have a small chance of getting more rubber, or sticky resin, I should say. But it gets you more planks than you would normally get. And yeah, this is at a net loss, so... That is unfortunate. Meanwhile, this guy has not even gotten enough 
to make to run one pulverizer. But I can, like I said, I can leave that running, and I won't. Don't care. There we go. There you go. Some sticky resin. So, yeah, that's uh, basically what we're doing here. Now, obviously, you can put the sticky resin into the extractor and get three rubber for one sticky resin. So it's kind of nice in that respect. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go here and dump off this crap. Whoops, that goes in the food, because technically you can eat rotten flesh. So, wood is over here. Whoops. Let me just take a bunch of these logs with me. Whoops, that made a lot more wood than I thought it would. More wood than I thought it would, wood, 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 wood. So yeah. Alright, I guess that's going to do it for my first episode on this uh, server here. Hey, most of the wheat's grown, and most of the vegetables are as well. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of us crafting a first couple of uh, pretty simple and basic machines that everybody should have to start off. This guy's almost completely sapped, and this guy's only at 100. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically everybody needs a generator. These guys, I think I'm burning the coal. I'm going to start taking that out. Man, this thing eats power. Wow. Because, see, it's got a buffer here, so it's going to just eat out of that. I think it's burning the coal too quickly. Anyway, um, that's my problem to worry about. So I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Peace.